Welcome back, and here's our update for the first part of this week. So uh, Monday we had our new team member Zach start, and first thing we did was get this uh, front window mold, the braces here, uh, glassed in. So that didn't take too long. It was nice having an extra hand on board. And then after that, uh, in the afternoon, I had the guys working on creating some crates to put these window molds in so we can ship them up um, to the guys up in Ohio who are going to be creating our windows for us. So that's the guys got those things started. So that's kind of nice. And in the meantime, um, Jeff needed me to create some uh, acrylic kind of fixtures to put onto the impregnator uh, setup that he's been working on. So he had a big chunk of acrylic that we picked up. And we've got the new bit that we're going to be using for cutting our windows or trimming our windows and decided to give it a try out on this material and see how it goes because it's very similar to the window acrylic and actually did a great job cutting those out. So not a problem there and move fairly quickly and just cutting in here. We were just cutting a quarter inch deep at a time, uh, but we found out it was actually capable of doing um, up to a half an inch at a time if you sort of slow it down a little bit. But anyway. So there's some of the pieces that were cut out and they came out well. And here's the actual or part of the whole fixture. You'll see the whole thing come together over the next week. And there's Jeff just welding another bracket onto that same stand there. So he's been pretty busy working on getting all that configured so we can use the impregnator. And given that the mill was set up for milling acrylic and with the end mill that we had on there, we pulled out these acrylic sample sheets that are the same glass or same acrylic we're going to be using um, for our windows and decided to see how well we could cut it with this end mill that we had got. And so I created um, a, a pattern for some scrapers and here you see it's milling the front edge and now it's actually cutting them into sort of smaller pieces that are sort of two inches wide and three inches wide. And so here you see that front edge is already cut there, um, milled sort of on an angle. Um, so we you know, have um, really like a wedge, it's, it's kind of a scraper that we're going to use and you can sort of remill them later on, just a tool basically. And now you can see it's going in there, this is half inch thick and that's the same as what we will have on the windows. And this is dropping in a quarter of inch at a time and it runs one pass and then back the other way. And then finally around a pass all the way along the edge there to cut them out. So you'll see here what they look like when they're finished and the cover's pulled off. And there you can see the sort of um, opaque edges is, is what actually we milled with the end mill and then cut it on the sides uh, using a swarf cut. So they came out nicely and we're, we're not going to have any problem using the machine to trim our windows once they come um, back you know, out of the mold. So that's kind of nice. We'll be able to trim them with the machine and they'll be nice and accurate. And there's uh, one of the window molds, side window molds actually released from the plug. And all the edges need to be just sanded back and sort of, you know, cleaned up there. But that came off without too many problems. And the uh, finish is nice on that. And there's the other one. A little bit of work sanding the edge of that. We're actually picking up a belt sander so we can do a better job on that. The little air sander is just not up to the task of doing those edges as, as much as, you know, it needs to come off there. So, you know, we're always looking for ways of, of getting better tools to speed things up and make our lives easier. And this afternoon, the guys had pretty much finished these two crates for the side windows. So they're ready to have the those molds put in there and shipped off. And they started working on um, the larger one for the front window and they're just basically repurposing um, a, a pallet there. And Jeff uh, spent a little bit of time this afternoon fixing uh, fixing the uh, new uh, fences to the bottom of the wings there, and making sure they're lined up um, in all the different axes that they need to be. With you know, we've got specific setup uh, angles that we wanted to have on them, so he's got got that all dialed in. And we didn't actually show this, but last week I milled this big block of foam that we can sit the model in upside down on its roof, so we can take that out to the field and be able to work on that. So anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching.